today. We doing some gum chewing. So, gum ramble. Oh, excuse me for a moment. I'm gonna ramble. While chewing gum. When I was in um, sixth grade, I think it was, I won a bubble blowing contest. Yeah. So when you chew gum, it goes from the ball into the chewy stuff. But there's this intermediate space where the gum is like not quite chewy, not quite hard, kind of an aggregate. Alright, there we are. So, insights. Insights that I gained from my schizophrenia. Um, what have I not told you? Oh yeah, um, the Mafia. So, The, tele the telepathic communication channel had users. So here's the basics. Here's the basics. So top te telepathy. So FDL communication um, is telepathic. Mind to mind. Us humans, we're obsessed with us humans obsessed with physical physicality, physical communication methods. We're obsessed with everything that goes on outside of our heads that we never really take care of what's on the inside of our heads. We never really take care of what's on the inside of our heads. And so the insides of our heads we're like cavemen. We're psychic cavemen. Humans are psychic cavemen. Even though we have all this awesome technology out here like planes and trains and automobiles and freaking internet and stuff you gotta remember most people mentally they're nowhere near as good as they could be and here's the thing our mental healthcare system is based on external inputs so Freud Freud was right when he said psychoanalysis should be a So, I don't know for certain if what I've theorized will actually work. So, I have a theory that it may or it may not work, um, that I can do uh, metaphysical surgery. Um, to explain what metaphysical surgery is, it's like surgery on the spirit. I will I can't really do surgery. All I can do is I can access, like, it's like removing a panel off of someone's mind and looking into their mind and their personality and I can toy with it I'm not entirely certain if it produces a result yet but and like I said I'm medicated so I can't really do any of this stuff anymore um, anyway so, so where, where I was going with this is that mental technology could become as advanced as our physical technology so it could be possible to, for example, build a mental machine that fixes trauma. Like, I'm, I don't know how, but like build a mental pill that 
does not have any corporeal form that you can just send mind to mind to someone else to get rid of their trauma or their insecurities. Or, or you could go and you can like open up someone's head and do like surgery on their personality and their feeling. Or you can do like chiropractic, like acupuncture or chiropractic, chiropractic, chiropractic on their soul. I, I see that there's a possibility that this could happen. Like chiropractic of the soul. Like a surgery of the soul. But I think that some people have the ability to do that. They just don't realize that they do. They, they don't realize that they do. By the way, if you like my whispers or you like my deep fry, my fry, voice fry or the whispers, one or the other, I should probably pick one and stick with it for the rest of this video. I'll stick with the voice fry for the rest of this video. If you want me to do a video specifically in whispering, go ahead. So, metaphysical surgery. Metaphysical surgery. I've never actually tried it out on someone because I've never actually convinced someone to let me try it out on them. <laughs> and I feel like if I do metaphysical surgery on someone without their consent, it won't end up well. Um, it's been a while since I last saw this reality because it was, it was a long time ago. Um, Alright, this might be loud. Woo! up Ooh. every time every time I drink something oh god mm. Ooh. I do not know why I like that <laughs> oh baby oh baby surgery so um there's there's two things that i can do that i'm well three things number one metaphysical surgery number two metaphysical coding and number three uh there's a language a spirit language that when you speak it through the spirit reality it, it, ugh, you have to see it to believe it now since I'm medicated, and I have been for the past four years, I haven't been up there. It's as simple as that. I have no doubt that as soon as I get off the medication, which I never will because it's a lifetime thing, um, if I ever do get off the medication, I'll be back up there in a month. Um, it's very fun. Up there, it's, it's, it's the most fun I've ever had because it was so interesting. Oh, my God. It was like, it was like, it was, it was just so fucking interesting. I hope you excuse me for cursing, obviously. Like, Mount Olympus, okay? Mount Olympus is a place that you can go to in your mind. I shrunk down to the size of an atom, and I traveled, I traveled the subatomic realm. I, I met, fought monsters. I, I, I generated, it was just so fucking awesome. I'm telling you, like, it was just, it was just the most awesome thing I've ever done. It was, it was the most awesome thing I've ever experienced. I don't think anyone else has ever experienced something as awesome as that. That's what I've experienced. It was, it was just, it was awesome. <laughs> it was, frankly, it was like, oh my God, this is just the most imaginative. And you know what? I think it's real because there's no freaking way, no, there's no way I could have come up with that on my own. Some of the stuff that happened up there, I, I never could have come up with it on, by myself, you know? Like, it's like, it's like, one of these days, maybe I'll tell all the stories of what happened up there. Like, like I did meet the Greek gods, some of the Norse gods too. Oh God, monster makes me do that. I did meet the Greek gods. I met some of the Norse gods too. I met a bunch of monsters there. I performed surgery on galaxies. I had a galaxy inside my own head with like sentient species that would send off radiation that I could hear in the form of worship. It was so awesome. Like, seriously, I did surgery on galaxies. Not sure how exactly how that worked, but um, 
I my my soul, my entity soul is huge. Like somehow or another, um, I managed to enlarge my soul to the point where I have this soul of an entire galaxy. Like my 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 consciousness is so huge absolutely ginormous at the back of my head it goes and I'm like Nirvana so Nirvana is the feeling of oneness and um it's bee smoke so my theory is that us humans we are grass to an interdimensional deity who feeds off of our consciousness so do you, you ever wonder why God created us he didn't create us to be with him or it or God we were created or are we are we may not have been created for this but we're utilized as fodder like our minds are food for interdimensional hyperspatial beings of higher dimensions that's our purpose we're like cattle um, well we're more like grass um, like how like how grass is not you don't you don't you don't cage grass you let it grow you let it grow where it wants to grow but when you're hungry you eat it or cows eat it or ruminants eat it and that's all we are that's us except for me because I've seen them those entities maybe I may have I may not have you can well But I'm telling you, it was the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. And I've been to Disneyland, I've been to Six Flags, I've played the games, I've read the books. Oh my god, it was so fun. It was, it was like the weirdest trip that lasted like two months. And it was absolutely bonkers. And the reason why I can't really explain exactly what happened is because it's all interconnected. Like all of it has, all of it has... It all depends on what happened before it, you know. And and it was just uh, God, more monster. If you would like me to make a whisper video, a whisper video, a whisper video, a whisper video. You know what? As soon as this video is over, I'm going to go buy myself a Blue Yeti. I think I can afford it. A Blue Yeti. A Blue Yeti. USB microphone. Along with this camera right here. Like, do you know that Athena likes to play chess? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I didn't, I never managed to beat her. So, um, uh, did I? Uh, well. I guess from here on out, we'll just do some regular ASMR. You know what these are? These are salt and vinegar chips. Oh my god, I love these. I love these salt and vinegar chips. But the problem is that they kill my teeth. They really kill my teeth. Wait a minute. What the hell happened to the gum? Did I... Did I throw the gum away without even noticing that it was gone? <laughs> I'm, I'm reasonably certain that I started this video with gum in my mouth. You guys, you guys have been watching the whole time, so 
you probably saw me take the cum out of my mouth, but I didn't swallow it. I know I didn't swallow it. Maybe I opened These, though. Haribo is the gold standard. Haribo is the gold standard. Yeah, man, Haribo. The gold standard. It is the gold standard, though. Um, <sighs> yeah. This video is over. Use some of that stimulus money to buy a blue yeti. A blue yeti. A blue yeti. Also, I'm probably gonna premiere this video. I think the premiere looks good. I think the premiere is fun. Although, there's not much in this video to wait for. Besides the ramblings of a crazy person. Well, I'm not crazy anymore. Alright. I'll leave you off with a story. From that realm. I met. A group of people. I will call. The Rockefellers. I don't know if they actually were the actual Rockefeller family. But it was this cult. Of people. Who had reached highest level, not really the highest, the highest level they were able to reach. And so what they did was they reached this level of enlightenment, which was just a giant room at the top of a crazy ass world below. But it was this giant white room, yeah? You reach the white room, and when you're in it, you think, oh my god, I found it. This place is amazing. It's just pure white, except there are groups of people that are already up there who just sit in a block. These people, they were just sitting there, like, like they thought they'd reached the end and they were just like, sitting up there. And they, they saw me coming around and they were like, oh my God, what are you doing? How are you able to do this? And so, I met with the Rockefellers. They had a snake vacuum, a vacuum that looked like a snake that came into my head, vacuumed out, a lot of the bad stuff. It was really cool. Oh, and by the way, none of this was on drugs. I was not on drugs. I don't do drugs. Although I'm really hoping Wisconsin week legalizes marijuana so I can start smoking it. <laughs> I've never smoked marijuana before in my life, but I've heard that it allows me... To, you know, never smoked it in my life. If Wisconsin legalizes it, I will. If it doesn't, I won't. Don't know how my parents will think about that. But they probably wouldn't watch a video like this to the point, this point. Anyways, so these these guys, the Rockefellers, they really wanted me to be part of their cult. Yeah, they wanted me to be part of their cult. So they like lassoed me in and tried bringing me down. And, and now that I look on it, in hindsight, I probably should have joined that cult because they were they were a cult of very powerful people. Um, I probably should have joined them. Uh, it's too late now since I can't go back up there, um, but I really should have joined them. <laughs> Looking back on it, um, I really probably should have sat there with them and just learned something cool. I don't know. So like uh, back back then I was talking about metaphysical tools. So it's possible to create tools in your mind that do tool stuff, like mental tools not like Occam's razor but like um, an imaginary hammer or nail or train line that actually performs mental work like there's this entire psychic realm up there full of aliens of all sorts because that's what that's what I keep telling people is that the FTL communication is psychic like if you want to if you want to communicate to with someone faster than light you just open up your psychic brain and the problem is, is that standard humans can't do that very well. However, we do have 
drugs like I'm talking like DMT, LSD, psilocybin, and marijuana. Um, I'm talking the drugs, man. I've never done any of them. I don't. I don't do drugs. Never done drugs. Um, but maybe I'll talk about that in my next video after I get my blue yeti. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to whisper in the next video, just tell me, and I will be gone. I don't do drugs.